In this video, I'm going to show you seven unbelievable ways to use OpenAI's new ChatGPT. And when I say unbelievable, you need to stay tuned because I really mean this AI tool is outstanding, but it has its flaws, but we're gonna get into those later. We're gonna cover the seven ways that we can use ChatGPT, the pros and cons of using it, the good and the bad, and could this be the end of Google as we know it? Spoiler alert, it just might. Let's dive in and take a look at this incredible tool. So here we are at openai.com's website, and this is the page where they're talking about their chat GPT. If you would like to sign up for it, I will leave a link down in the description. It's completely free to use as of now. This tool is way too powerful in my opinion for it to be free. So please take advantage of it as while you can. So to get to take advantage of it, scroll down to where it says try GPT. If you don't have an account with OpenAI, it's going to ask you to create one. It literally takes like 30 seconds to a minute not that long at all and then you're going to be able to jump into the tool that's this right here chat GPT now there's so many things that you can do with this tool what really separates it from a lot of the tools that have existed in the past is that this tool is conversational meaning you can have a back and forth with it you don't have to always refer to what you just said you can just say well make an improvement on it or something like that and it'll automatically know what you're talking about and then hope to create something better than what it is that you were just putting into the tool. So let's go ahead and go into the seven things that you can use with this. Now, when I first saw ChatGPT and how incredible this tool was, the first thing I thought that you could use it for was to cheat on your homework, all right? It sounds kind of crazy, but it really is the case. So for example, write me an essay about the Declaration of Independence. And then we're going to press enter. All right, so that took all of about 15 to 20 seconds for this to literally generate one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs, basically an essay about the Declaration of Independence. And it's actually not too bad. Like when we look at this first paragraph here, the Declaration of Independence is a document that was adopted by the Continental Congress on July 4th, 1776, which announced the 13 American colonies were no longer under British rule. So, I mean, I'll go ahead and leave this, maybe find a way to leave a link to this or something in the comments so that you can check it out or you can go check it out yourself. It is crazy just how well done this happens to be. And you can also follow it up. So I can say something like, do the same for the Louisiana purchase and see what it comes up with. All right, and again, it all it took all of about 15 seconds for this to write another essay about the Louisiana Purchase. But again, notice how I just said, do the same for the Louisiana Purchase. I didn't have to say, write me an essay for the Declaration of Independence or the Louisiana Purchase. It already knew because it has that conversational back and forth nature to it, which is crazy, okay? I, I can't really stress enough just how mind-blowing this happens to be. Uh, first thing that I was immediately thinking was like, you know, you can literally cheat on your homework. You can't even have take home tests anymore, right? Because all you have to do is just type it into here and literally within seconds, you're going to have a well thought out paragraph. Now, just like with any of these AI tools, you do need to fact check it. You can't take it for just what it's worth, okay? You have to go in there and make sure that the facts that it spews out is actually true. That is one of the cons of using any AI tool, including ChatGPT, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. The number six use for ChatGPT is to come up with social media copy. Now, one thing that I always use AI for is to write me nice little Instagram post or Facebook post or maybe copy for a, a Facebook ad that I'm going to be running later. It makes it very simple by just using open.ai's ChatGPT. So for example, I can type in, create me an ad for dads who need a fishing pole, all right? That's about as random as it can possibly get, right? But let's just see what happens. Are you a dad who loves to fish? Do you need a fishing pole? Well, look no further. Introducing the ultimate dad fishing pole, the perfect companion for your uh, fishing adventures. You know, it just, 
that's that's crazy. Our ultimate dad fishing adventures is comfortable and ergonomic handle. To be kind of, it's kind of scary because it's just literally making this stuff up on the spot. This does not exist. The ultimate dad fishing pole, it, it doesn't exist, but it's very convincing. Y you could have fooled me, right? This is fooling people and it is kind of crazy how this works. So coming up with stories for your social media, coming up with ads that you can put online that is probably going to get some conversions that you can literally do within seconds that might take in a normal copywriter, you know, hours or, you know, to come up with. Now, be sure to stay tuned for the last two on this list, because I can guarantee you it's probably the most mind blowing out of all of the ones we've talked about so far. The number five mind blowing thing that you can do with chat AI is also to use it as a regular, normal AI writer. So if you're familiar with a tool like a Jasper.ai or a word hero or something, these tools, like for example, here's Jasper right here. You know, it's an outstanding tool for what it does. But as of right now, it's getting completely torn to pieces by what chat GPT can do. Now, again, chat GPT is probably going to be temporary. A tool like this probably isn't going to be free forever just because of how powerful it happens to be. So you can write something such as create a blog post about a 1999 Ford F-150. Let's see what it spits out. All right, so this took about nine seconds to create, which again is pretty outstanding. Um, if you're in the market for a reliable, rugged pickup truck, then you should definitely consider the 1999 Ford F-150. The truck is a favorite among American drivers for decades, and you can see why. The stuff like that, you would definitely need to fact check to make sure that it's true. Now granted, I know for a fact that the Ford F-150 is one of the most popular trucks in the United States, but just for example, you still need to make sure that you go in and fact check these types of uh, things. Now I will say, say in terms of creating content for SEO or search engine optimization, something like this is rather fluffy, all right, in terms of what it's actually saying. It's not really giving me much information. It's just giving me a whole bunch of filler words. So I don't know how much of this is actually useful, all right? So for an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this content right here, and I'm going to drop it into originality.ai. This is a new plagiarism checker and AI detector that's out there. There's a little bit of a debate as to how useful it actually is, but I went ahead and gave it a spin anyway. I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description if you want to check it, because it's also always good to figure out whether or not someone's actually using um, AI if you are hiring writers or for whatever reason. So I'm going to drop this content in here and going to click scan now. It says it's going to cost me four credits, and let's go ahead and see what pops up. All right, now according to originality.ai, you can see right here, it got a 100% AI score, all right? And it says it's plagiarism free, which most AI tools don't have to worry about plagiarism because they know how to create content that is 100% unique. But with that said, still, it's 100% AI. There's not even, th this tool right here had no problem detecting the AI here. So that's a little bit of a good thing, you know, if we're bloggers and content creators, to see here that if this tool, originality.ai, could simply see that this was AI written content, so can Google, right? And you don't have to really worry about them, you know, uh, being confused as to what's AI versus what's original content. But this is a great tool um, that you can use to help try to figure out if your writers are using AI content or if they're actually creating something unique themselves. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's very cheap to use, like maybe 10 bucks and they give you like 300 credits that you can use for whatever that, that you need. Um, I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description so that you can check it out. Originality dot AI. So the number four mind blowing thing that you can use chat GPT for is to create YouTube scripts. Now I can assure you, if you haven't been able to tell, this is 100% original. This video is, I haven't used uh, chat GPT to come up with any of the uh, content that I'm speaking to you right now. It's all off the cuff, but uh, for the most part, you know, you still can use GP chat GPT to come up with some pretty interesting YouTube scripts. So for example, write a YouTube script for how to tie a tie. So let's see what uh, chat GPT comes up with. All right, so here is our YouTube script. Let's zoom in just a tad. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to tie a tie like a pro. Tying a tie may seem like a daunting task, yada, yada, yada. First start by draping and then, okay, so now let's jump to the bottom and there you have it, a perfectly tied tie with a little practice. You'll be able to tie a tie like a pro in no time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks. Okay, that's 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 kind of scary, right? <laughs> that is kind of scary. Even if you didn't use this directly for 
for a script, the inspiration is there, right? I could take this and just kind of riff on it and use it as a guide and just create the content. Or, you know, let's play a little devil's advocate here. You could take this and just have another AI read it nice and fluently and then just put it behind something that's not an actual person and you can just create an entire YouTube video that's 100% AI, meaning that you literally just press a couple of buttons and you were able to produce a YouTube video. Pretty scary. It's already out there to a certain extent, but this was just done too easy for in my opinion. The number three mind blowing and unbelievable thing that you can use ChatGPT for is for a chat bot. Now a chat bot is one of those things where you go to a website and it pops up in the bottom right hand corner saying, hey, do you need any help with anything? And then you've probably done it before where you try to talk to it and you can clearly tell it's a computer and it was just terrible. But the cool thing about ChatGPT is that it's very conversational, meaning you can have a conversation with it like an actual human and it's going to respond and hopefully give you the right right answer that you are looking for. So for example, phrase.io, which is a content optimization tool for search engine optimization on Google is a pretty good tool. However, one cool thing that phrase has that not a lot of other ones do is a great way to create a chat bot for your website. So let's zoom in a little bit. It does it in three quick steps. It will crawl your website, meaning it'll look at your entire blog, your entire frequently asked questions or whatever you have on your website, and then just read it to get exactly what your site is about. Then you just press a simple button and it's going to create an assistant with customized branding, a welcome message, and more settings of that nature so that when someone lands on your site, they can just start chatting with a bot about the stuff on your website. That's pretty mind blowing in my opinion. And as of right now, I think Phrase is one of the only ones that is doing it in the, in the way in which they're doing it here. So I would definitely check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description as well. Now, if ChatGPT takes off the way that it's seeming like it will, every all of these AI writing tools all sample from something called GPT-3 in order to you know come up with its content. Um, but now, Please believe me, people are going to be um, moving over. All of these AI tools are going to be moving over to using chat GPT because it just works better. And you're gonna be able to put chat boxes and stuff on your websites without having to have a live person sitting there answering questions. All right, so let's go back to chat GPT. And the next thing that we're gonna talk about that this mind blowing tool can do is coding. Now, I will be honest, I am not a coder at all. I don't know much about it, but you can do something like this. Create a simple HTML landing page for a startup called Future AI that is a that has a gradient background. And just like this, within seconds, boom, you have uh, HTML that you can copy and paste anywhere that you need and it's going to create you know whatever it is that you just just created and it's not just HTML you can also use it for you know Fibonacci numbers I've seen it uh, work for Python I mean it can learn all of these uh, different types of uh, programming languages and coding and it can help fix your code as well if you have any background in coding and then you press uh, execute and it stalled and it wouldn't work and it's all because you forgot a period somewhere or you forgot a colon in one little spot. But uh, chat GPT is going to be able to find those mix-ups, those, those mess-ups from a human standpoint and fix them within seconds. And with coding being such a huge thing nowadays, this is going to be mind-blowing for how you're going to be able to use this new open AI chat GPT. Now, before we go into the pros and cons of what ChatGPT can and cannot do, the number one thing that you can use ChatGPT for is math and other types of equations. So, for example, I could say something like, give me the first 50 numbers for pi. All right, so I do want to point out that this has been going on for about a minute and nothing has popped up. And you see I have an error here. An error occurred. If this issue persists, please contact us through our help center at help.open.ai.com. So uh, you see here, it, it didn't work for this. So let's go ahead and try to word it a different way. All right, so I tried to put in what are the first 50 numbers after the decimal for pi, and now it's telling me too many requests, please slow down. Um, it's been about a minute or two since I put in another request. So um, again, this will probably be you know a, a limitation of the fact that this is a free software. But uh, let's go ahead, I'm just gonna copy and paste this and try it again. 
Well, it looks like it's not gonna work for me. Let me go ahead and reset the thread and refresh the page and see what happens. All right, so I refreshed the page and as you can see, that actually did fix the problem because now I'm getting a response. The first 50 numbers after the decimal point for the mathematical constant pi are this ridiculousness, okay? So um, as you can see here, man, you're not gonna be able to cheat on the test. You can do math problems. Um, it will be able to explain the math problems to you so that you can spit it out on a piece of paper, which again, it's quite mind blowing. But let's go ahead and jump into some of, into to some of the pros and cons of using chat.gpt. Now, to be honest, a lot of this video has just been talking about the pros of using ChatGPT. So a lot of this is going to be a bit redundant, but talking about coding languages, written languages, seamless and natural way to have a conversation, um, impressive, but still in its infancy and free to use. Those are some of the pros. Now let's jump into the cons. Number one, that even though ChatGPT can use a very convincing voice, that doesn't mean that it's correct. And again, like we mentioned before, this is something that's very normal when it comes to AI writing tools, you can't just take them for what they're saying. You need to actually go in and make sure what they're saying is 100% correct. Otherwise, you're going to uh, run the risk of turning in a paper, posting something online that is completely inaccurate, even though ChatGPT made it seem like it was 100% correct. The next con is another one that's normal to AI writing tools is that if you use it a lot, you'll notice that certain patterns and phrases start to repeat in the text. And that makes a lot of sense, especially because of uh, when we were using originality.ai earlier, it was pretty easily being able to tell that what we threw in there was AI created content. So what you end up having is the same phrases used over and over again, which will then not make your content look natural. Another con here is one that we had an issue with while we were using it was the fact that sometimes GPT is going to freeze and clearly doesn't know the answer to the questions, but then tweaking it is what really fixed it. We were able to refresh the page to actually get an answer to the question. So that's just gonna happen. I mean, this is a computer. They're gonna fail, they're gonna break stuff. We as humans need to go in and make sure that it's 100% correct. They also go into how GPT is a free service at the moment and that that can lead to downtimes. Again, a tool like this is not going to stay free for long. I can guarantee you that. And then another con of using ChatGPT is the fact that it's biased. It's going to tell you what it thinks, even if it's not correct. It doesn't know how to ask follow-up questions or clarifying questions, at which point it's just going to spit out what it thinks is right. And you can't just take that. As a human, you need to read it and verify what it's saying is actually true. Some other restrictions of using ChatGPT is the fact that it's only restricted based on content that it was able to scrape from the internet in 2021 and behind. So anything after 2021, it's going to have no idea even existed. And another con that can sometimes be a pro is the fact that it will not create inappropriate things. So you can't ask it how to make a bomb or something like that, right? It's not going to tell you how to do that, but when that can also be a con because sometimes it can be a totally legitimate request at which point it thinks that it's inappropriate and it won't give you the content. Now, as amazing as OpenAI's ChatGPT happens to be, it is a free tool. Again, I can guarantee you it's not going to be free for a long time, but with that said, I want you to check out this video right here where I go through one of the best AI writing tools that is in existence.